The complexity of coaching. What is a coach? It's a really simple question about a pretty complex job. And when I think about being a coach, I have to consider a lot of things. Coaches teach, but we aren't only teachers. And coaches know things, but we're not just subject matter experts or authorities on a subject. As a coach, you create a hypothesis and gather data and do analysis, but we're not just scientists. We motivate people, but we aren't just cheerleaders. Coaches direct clients, but we aren't bosses or managers. Coaches help clients come up with a plan, but it's not just about writing plans. And coaches understand that nutrition problems aren't just about food. Coaches need a vision, but we should also get our hands dirty. I think coaching is all about these things and a lot more. As a coach, I have to bring a wide range of skills to my practice. There's a lot of fuzzy, indefinable stuff about being a coach, what you could call following my gut. Sometimes you might call it intuition, or maybe it's just wisdom gathered along the way. But there's a lot of stuff that with enough experience you just know, but you aren't exactly sure how you know it. A good coach needs to sense when a client is struggling, and when to push back, and when to back off. And also have a sense of when a client is just about to make a breakthrough. I use logic and analysis, but I also use my gut, intuition, and creativity. Coaching is more complicated than you might think. Yet at the same time, coaching is one of the most natural things I do. I'm wired to teach and guide others, to help people navigate the world, and to collaborate in the pursuit of knowledge and performance. Think of me like a tour guide to a place where you already live. Let's say you live in a city that you're fairly familiar with, and one day you read up on the history of your city and realize that many fascinating things have happened right on the street where you live. A friend says, let's uh, go down to that cafe down the road, and you realize that you've walked past that place a hundred times without noticing it. You buy a bike, and you discover it's much more efficient than your car for getting around town. And then you run down a new street that you don't normally take and discover a beautiful hidden path. That's what a coach does. Helps you explore the potential and the resources that you already have around you and inside you. I put your potential and resources into action, sometimes past the limits that you may have inadvertently set for yourself. Your progress may come from new information, maybe from seeing things in a new way, maybe from giving you a new tool or strategy or a good action plan. Maybe it comes from me pushing you out of your comfort zone. As a coach, I see my clients as diamonds in the rough. I see raw material that just needs a little help with polishing and together we need to see the glasses half full. As a coach, I'm not your parent and I'm not a judge. I'm not your BFF and I'm not your enemy. And I'm certainly not an all-knowing guru. Think of me more like that tour guide, a facilitator. I make signposts and draw maps. I help you read the instruction manual. Together, we are travelers, and I'm the navigator calling the direction and the pace notes. I'm somebody with a map and the skills, and my job is to help you read and interpret what I've put in front of you. I'm someone to walk the path beside you, and believe me, many times I've walked it before. Sure, occasionally I'm gonna step in front of you to lead, or behind you to push, but most of the time I'm gonna be beside you, making sure you stay in the lane, kind of like a sheepdog herding you in the direction we need to travel. At the end of the day, I can break my job as a coach down to four key tasks. One, define clearly what must be done. Two, develop a plan to do it, and in collaboration with you, the athlete. Three, I need to give you the means to execute it. And four, I need to foster a relationship that makes the whole thing possible. If you'd like to know more about my coaching services, you can contact me via email or phone from my website, or you can leave a comment below and I'll get back in touch with you. Thanks again, and I hope to see you back soon.